what I want you to attempt to do is, given an arbitrary list, I made a particular example of an arbitrary list right here, write a function that sorts that arbitrary list. So maybe you call your function my sort. You can call it whatever. What I want is, after I call my sort on, on a list, that the, the list itself gets resorted. So I don't want my sort to return a copy of the list. I want, after I call my sort on A, if I then refer to A, if let's say I do print A, if I do print A, then that will literally return a sorted version of A. Or I should say it should, it'll return A, but now A itself is shorted, or the, the list that A is referring to is now sorted. So it would it would now look like this. A would now look like 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8. And you might say, wait, Sal, that's very easy. There is already a sort function in Python. You literally can call A, A dot sort, and that will sort A in place just the way I've asked you to do. And when I say in place, I'm saying it's actually going to work on the actual list. It's not going to create a copy of the list that is sorted. It's actually going to work in place on that actual list. And a sort does this, but I don't want you to use that. So let's cross this off. The whole point of this is to learn well, you know, just just to kind of try our best to write our own sorting function, or and and what you're what you're going to see, and I hopefully appreciate as we go deeper and deeper into this, is that there's many, 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 many ways to sort things, and sorting is really a good way to think about is to think about how how good a a function, and we'll start talking about algorithms, how good a process is, or how fast a process is, or how efficient a process is at doing something. So I'll leave you there. Try to try to sort this. In the next video, I'll try to outline an algorithm, which is, which is really just a process for doing something. I'll outline an algorithm that's, that's kind of an intuitive way to sort things. It's not the most efficient way to sort things. And then after that, I'll try, to, I'll try my best to hand it, or I'll try my best try at, at actually writing that algorithm in a Python program.